Welcome back to my channel and FB page, uh, GTR Match Tutorial. So for today's video, uh, I will discuss the case 4 of integration of rational fractions. So I only have one example. So case 4, when denominator contains irreducible quadratic factors and some are repeated. Okay, so to each repeated a quadratic factor, ax squared plus bx plus c raised to n, there corresponds the sum of n partial fractions of the form a times 2ax plus b plus b over ax squared plus bx plus c plus c times 2ax plus b plus d over ax squared plus bx plus c square plus dot 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 up to a k times 2ax plus b plus l over ax to the n plus bx plus c to the n. Okay, so if if the if our n is 3, therefore we have 3 three partial fractions of this form. So if the exponent is 2, so we only have 2. Okay, so try to answer uh, number 7. So this is combination of case 1 and case 4. Okay, try to answer first before watching my solution. Okay, so let's answer number 7. Okay, so for number 7, so this is a... Uh, combination of case 1 so this is case 1 for this part the x and then this is case number 4 because uh, this is irreducible quadratic uh, quadratic express expression x squared plus 2 plus 2 so it's not uh, not factorable we don't have value of x so x squared plus 2 and then we have exponent square okay so therefore so we can write this as we solve for the uh, constants uh, a b c and d so we have 8 over x times uh, x squared plus 2 is square so for the first we have x so that is a over x and then for x plus 2 is square so this is the case number 4 okay so we can write this as b times the derivative of x squared plus 2 so the derivative of that is 2x plus c over x squared plus 2. x squared plus 2, we start with the exponent of 1, and then plus, next is the exponent 2. So a, b, c, so we have next is d times derivative of x squared plus 2, so it's still 2x, and then plus e, another constant, so we have five constants, a, b, c, d, and e, which uh, we will determine by co uh, equating coefficients. So we have x squared plus 2 and then square. And then uh, solve for, uh, get rid of the denominator by multiplying both sides of the equation by the denominator x times uh, x squared plus 2 is square. Okay, so when we multiply this, so we just simply cancel this. So the left side will be 8 equals a so x times x squared plus 2 squared divided by x. So we just cancel x. So we have a times x squared plus 2 and then square. And then we have plus b. Divide this so we can cancel one factor of x squared plus 2. So we have 2x here. So we have 2x times x times, times x and then times uh, x squared plus 2. Okay, and then we have plus c. Cancel one factor. So we have x times uh, x squared plus 2. And then for d, so we have for letter d, d, cancel the square, and then we still have x times 2x. So we have d times 2x and then times x plus the last constant, letter e, and then cancel this. So what will remain is e x. And then let us simplify. So simplify, we have 8 is equal to a times, apply the square of binomial to this. So I square the first term, x squared is squared, so that is x to the fourth plus 2 times the product of the first and second term, x squared times 2, that is 2x squared, times another 2, so 4x squared, and then square of 2, so that is equal to 4. Okay, so plus b, let us distribute this or multiply this, uh, 2x times x, so that is 2x square, and then distribute to x square and positive 2. So 2x square times x squared, so we have 2x to the fourth 
and then 2x squared times positive 2, that is positive 4x squared. Okay, so next, distribute x. So we have c times x cubed plus 2x. And then we have 2x times x, so that is equal to 2x squared. And then last, we have plus ex. So now we will solve the values of the constant a to e by equating the coefficient. So the highest degree is 4. So we equate the coefficients of x to the fourth. We have x cubed, x squared, x, and constant. Okay, so as we can see, the only uh, value in the left side is 8. So therefore, all the x to the fourth up to x, the value is 0. So if we, equate, we equate that to 0. Okay, so we start with x to the fourth. So x to the fourth. So let's use a red color. So we have x to the fourth and another x to the fourth. Okay, so x to the fourth, so we have a plus 2b. So we have a plus 2b equals, there is no x to the fourth, so therefore a plus 2b equals 0. Next, we have x cubed. We have x cubed, there is only one x cubed. Okay, c x cubed, so therefore c is equal to 0 because there is no x cubed in the left side. Okay, so next for x squared. So x squared, so we have 4x squared and another 4x squared here. And then we have 2x squared for letter D. So therefore, we have 4a plus 4b. So we have 4a plus, so this is the 4b. And then we have 2d plus 2d equals 0. Okay, so next for the, for the x. So we have x, so this is the x, 2x. So we have 2c and then another x, we have ex. So 2c plus e equals 0. There is no x in the left side, so equals 0. But c is equal to 0, so therefore when we substitute c equals 0, it follows that e is also equal to 0. Okay, so we have the value of c, c equals 0 and also e is equal to 0. Okay, so for the last, we have the constant. So constant term, so we have only one constant. The constant term is 4. So we have 4 times a, so that is 4a equals, we have constant in the left side, and that is 8. 4a equals 8. So therefore, let us solve the values of 4a equals 8, divide both sides by 4. So therefore, a is equal to 2. And then substitute a equals to 2 in this equation. So substitute a equals 2. So we have 2 plus 2b equals 0. So therefore, therefore 2b is equal to put 2 to the other side. Transpose to the, last, to the other side, we have negative 2. So therefore, b is equal to negative 2 divided by 2. So we have negative 1. b is negative 1. And then we can solve the value of D. So substitute the value of A and B. So we have 4 times A. The value of A is 2. So we have 4 times A. That is 2. Plus 4 times B. That is negative 1. Plus 2D equals 0. Simplify. We have 8 minus 4 plus 2D equals 0. So therefore 8 minus 4. That is equal to 4. Let's put 2d to the other side, equals negative 2d. And then divide both sides by negative 2. So therefore, the value of d is equal to negative 2. Okay, so now uh, let's we can now integrate. So the values of a, b, and d. We have values of a, b, and d. The c and e are 0. Okay, so therefore, the integral of 8 over x times x squared plus 2 squared dx equals, so let's start with a, so substitute a, so we put the integral sign and the dx for each, okay, so we have 2, so we have 2 integral of dx over x, and then we have the value of b, so for this part, the b, so we have minus, b is negative 1, so minus integral of, let's write uh, 2x, and then dx, 2x dx over 
x squared plus 2. And then the last is d equals negative 2. So for this part, d equals negative 2. So we have minus 2 integral of 2x. Just write dx over x squared plus 2 square. Okay, so for the first two parts, so this integral and this integral, so it, it's in the form integral of du over u. So the formula for that is ln u plus c. And then for this part, so this is in the form u to the n, integral of u to the n du. So we can put this uh, x squared plus 2 squared to the numerator and then make the exponent negative 2. And then the integral uh, the derivative of x squared plus 2 is 2x. So it's in the form u to the n du. So therefore, we use uh, the formula for that is u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. Okay, so we have direct formula for the three integrals. Okay, so the answer now is equal to 2 ln of x minus ln of x squared plus 2. And then this will be minus 2 integral of x squared plus 2 raised to negative 2 and then times 2x dx. So it's in the form u, this is the u to the n, and this is the du. So apply this formula. So therefore, this will be equal to minus 2. And then we have just add 1 to the exponent. So we have x squared plus 2, negative 2 plus 1, that is negative 1 over negative 1 plus c. And then for this, let's apply the property. So we can uh, simplify the two LNs. So we have a uh, constant in front of LN. So we can put this in the exponent. Okay, so we have property. Ayan. So this can be written as LN x squared. Okay, so minus LN of x squared plus 2. And then, so simplify this, uh, put back the uh, negative exponent in the denominator and then negative over negative, that is positive. And then another uh, property, ln x squared minus ln x squared plus 2. So we can uh, use the property ln a minus ln b, that is equal to ln of a over b. If the ln is negative, that is in the uh, denominator. If positive, it is in the numerator. Okay, so therefore we have ln of positive uh, x squared. So we have x squared and this one is negative. So it will go in the denominator, denominator x squared plus 2. Negative 2 times negative 1, that is positive 2. And then put this in the denominator because of the negative exponent. Make it positive. So we have 2 over x squared plus 2. There's no need to write the exponent of positive 1, okay, plus C. So this is the final answer in simplest form, ln x squared over x squared plus 2 plus 2 over x squared plus 2 plus C. Okay, so that's all. So thank you for watching and see you on my next video tutorial on on integration of uh, rational uh, fraction. So I have another example, number eight. So see you on my next video. So if you have a uh, math question, so you can uh, comment your question in this channel or on my FB group or FB page, or you can DM me in my messenger, RJ Enseñado. So again, thank you for watching. Bye-bye and God bless. See you on my next video, number eight.